Okay, so next, I know I did not mention this as in an item you will need, but you will need a peroxon cutter or some kind of wire cutter. Or if you got really good steady hands, you can just use your X-Acto knife to cut out the piece of foam you need. Now my foam is a three quarter inch thick. Uh, if you want to use an inch thick, that's fine, or use a half an inch, you can. But we're going to be cutting the square out and then using a Dremel to make this brazier. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And then just cut myself out a one inch by one inch square. Then we'll get to the drink. So another item that I wasn't thinking about using but decided it'd probably be best if I use it is a compass. Now I got my one inch square cut out and I went just a little bit less than a half an inch and I basically centered this the best I can and then uh, without pushing the spike all the way through just kind of drew a rough line around it to uh, where I want how big I want the circle, or at least the outside of it, that I know not to go past that or I'll start running into problems. And then I'm going to make the circle inside just a little bit smaller, not much, uh, enough where I can still work with this foam and have an edge so when I connect the chain to it. So let's say an eighth of an inch difference Maybe a little more, or a little less. Say a little more, let's see. So my outside circle, just to let you guys know, I went and made it 7 eighths big. So it was just a little under a half an inch I had to go. And then the inside was 3 eighths. So basically you should have something that looks like this circle here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So now I'm gonna use my Dremel here, and what I'm gonna do I have a circle bit here. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's, it, it looks like a ball, a little small ball on the end, or a circle. And I'm basically gonna use this and slowly make a hole in the inside and then use some of this to lower this down. And then I will use another bit, which is a round sanding bit, and try to just wither this down to a smaller piece. Now, if you don't wanna use the XPS foam to do the brazier, you don't have to. Um, I did make one out of Scalpy clay, and you could do that too. Whatever works for you, but I want mine to be kind of on the light side, because eventually I will add some glue and make it kind of look like flames coming out of it, so that's why I'm going with this. Um, and I think the clay's not gonna be much heavier, but I seem to have fun doing it this way, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, you should wear a mask if you don't have the ventilation for this. So I'm gonna go get my mask and then we'll start this. So now I hope you guys can hear me over this mask, but I'm just gonna put this on the low setting and just take my time doing this and hold on to this so it doesn't go for a ride either. So now I'm gonna switch bits and start doing the outside. I think the circle I have in here is good enough for now. If I need to, I'll come back and clean it up, but I wanna start doing the outside now. So now I'm just gonna use a little sander bit. Um, they do have ones that are a little bit bigger, but I wanna use the small one, that's what I prefer. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, tighten this bad boy back up, and get started. This you definitely want to hold onto the square now because it will send it for a ride if you're not careful. Okay, now I've gotten this down a little bit more. I'm still not satisfied with it. It needs to be a lot thinner in some of these areas and it's still a little, little too big for me. And so I'm gonna just work on this a little bit more and uh, I'm gonna try just using some 220 sandpaper for now and see uh, if I can get it down and smoothed out the way I want. If not, I just go back with the Dremel, uh, Dremel it some more and then go in with the fine sandpaper to finish it off and make it look good and then it'll be done. Okay, now I have this done. It's a hair bit bigger than the one I did previously, but this one is actually round. This one's almost square. Uh, and I really like how well this came out sanded. It came out really good. Um, I just used the piece here and I actually went in and kind of thinned this out a little bit in the inside. Then went back in with the circle bit and just kind of just worked it until I got it the way it looks like a bowl now. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this black and go ahead and paint all this other stuff. And then we will go to gluing the chains on, which can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So let me get this stuff out of the way and then we'll come back to that. Now that I have my brazier painted and my post painted, um, I did notice one thing that I only used the original hook to put those chains in and I used a loop on top of this with the chain and I think that's going to droop this down a little too low so I might eventually have to take these chains off this loop and put them on that loop. But for now anyways, just so I can work with it, 
I am just gonna use, leave it the way it is and go ahead and glue these chains on. I did not put it on a base yet, but eventually I will, and then I will carve that down. That part I'm gonna skip with the video for you guys. I'll just show you the finished product. So first thing we're gonna do is try our darndest to super glue these chains to the brazier. Now I, when I did this the first time, it took me several, several tries to get this to work for me. Um, I did get it to work, but it's, it's a little tricky, but I will get it. It's just very hard to get the chain to kind of sit the way you want it to and not have too much glue too, but that's something you're just gonna have to deal with. You are gonna have a lot of webbing and that's something you're going to have to just deal with and peel it off as you go. Um, one thing I did notice when I was doing this with the original piece is I kinda had to go um, every other chain sort of. I'm not sure if I'll have to, I had to like go one in one corner, then three, then two, then four. But we're gonna try this a little differently and see how this comes out. We'll do one and two opposite of each other and then do three and four and see how this works out. You guys probably won't see much of how I'm doing this because my hand is going to be in the way constantly. And you gotta do this at a pretty fast pace and I've already seen I'm messing up a little bit so I will have to add more glue and do this again So here it is, the complete hanging brazier. And inside the brazier, I added some hot glue and teased it a little bit, and then added some black and some orange to give it the hot cold look. I kinda wish I put a little more orange in there and made it a little bit brighter, but it is what it is. And at the bottom, I added a little bit of a height to it because I thought it, had, it was sitting just a little too low, the brazier was. So I gave it a little base there, and then on the grass, I just painted it up green, added some flocking, let it dry, and then I just coated it in the finishing coat to seal it. So that's it for this video, and if you like this content, please consider subscribing, and like always, ring that like button like a hunchback. Until next time, guys. So now I'm starting to work on my arch here. Um, I'm just kind of oh, broke it. And that's why you gotta hold on to it, guys. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm definitely. Yeah, ow, hot glue, hot glue.